There has been a buzz in this city all day, and boy, can you ever feel it here inside the arena. I'm James Sabalski. He's Ray Ferro. Game four of the playoff series. Let's go. Both teams lined up in the middle. We are ready to get things underway. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. Can't make it work. Here's a short pass to Trottier. Takes the pass. Moves it quickly over to Shot. Down the left wing, across into the offensive end. Good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick. Gonchar's got it behind his own net. Moves it to the middle. Great defensive play to pick off the pass. And now he moves it quickly to Trottier. Receives the pass. Poked away yet centered by Gonchar. Oh, he had the right idea, but couldn't make that play with the pass. Montreal's got a hold of the puck. And he moves it up to Richard. And there's the whistle icing the call. James Sabalski, Ray Ferrar with you here in the early going of this period. The game is still scoreless. The Canadians win it in the defensive zone. Shots got it into offensive territory. Sends it out in front. And that goes off someone in front. The Penguins looking against the half wall. And the he scores! Pittsburgh's got the game's first goal. How much of a difference does that make? completely change your mindset even with lots of time left you can be more aggressive with the comfort that you have a one nothing lead Bellavos won it taken by robinson to the low slot and a huge stop by the goaltender at point blank range now this is a good save here james i mean he's got to read the play to get into position to make this stop a difficult one from the slot Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. Pittsburgh's ahead, 1-0. The Canadians played along the boards. There's an injection of energy with that hit. Nice zone entry from the middle. Couldn't make the connection on the play. And the puck departs the zone. Moves it around along the half wall. Takes a wrist oh. Scores! And we are even number started to wonder what was going to come next. Is the game going to spread out, or is it time? Now it's time, and everybody starts at scratch again. That shot had too much on it, and it ends up deflecting off the goaltender into the net, and he can just show his frustration. Moments away from the faceoff. Let's get back to the action. Montreal's got a hold of the puck off the draw. Up the neutral zone now. Takes the shot, and he comes up with it. Once he drops into that butterfly, he's pretty confident he's got most of the net covered. He slides across to make the save. Stopped by the goaltender. Spectacular desperation play. Jari's doing all he can to keep that puck out of the net. It's a dangerous chance, and he comes up big. The Penguins gain possession along the wall. And here we go. The crushing blow to finish it. Uh, sometimes you're just too big or too strong for the guy you line up against, and that one ended like it should have. for a spark in this building, and this might provide it. They are pumped yeah. in here. Yeah, this crowd on fire now here in the arena. The gloves are back on, the buckets are strapped back in, and we still got a game to play here with an upcoming face-off. Offense is on face-off, and he wins the draw. Montreal's cut him along the wall. Trying to gain a step. by Savard. Steps inside the attacking zone down the left wing. 
The Penguins will play it from the defensive zone. Takes the feed from his own end. Official blows the play dead as the puck goes out of bounds. Past the midway mark of the frame, James and Ray with you tonight. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Oh, what a chance, and it goes sideways. Centering feed! Picked off in front. The Penguins take it along the wing. Quick feed to Morenz. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Oh, down he goes on the ice. Oh, he thought there was room. Obviously, there was none. He's down on the ice. You can't do that to the Stars. Yeah, even if you think it's a clean hit, and I do, it doesn't matter. Somebody's coming after you. Oh, a thunderous end to that one. Yeah, somebody came third in that fight. That was decisive. at how much a fight takes out of a player for the rest of the day. As they get escorted to the penalty box, they've got to try and regroup so they can play again. Even the officials look exhausted trying to get control of this one. The Canadians win the faceoff. That's off a stick. Off target. Carlisle's got the puck in his own zone. Takes the feed. Moves the puck across to Robinson. Cornoyer scudded against the boards. On the backhand! Comes up with a monster save in front. He's sharp on that one. Nowhere to go for the puck. Through center along the wing. Almost fly by to the bench. He's over. He's got a new toy. He's back in the game. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Montreal's got the puck in the corner. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. The Penguins move the puck in the defensive zone. Takes the feed at center. And he gets a chunk of that to keep it out. And with that, the first period is in the books. Both teams with a chance and a refresh will get a clean sheet of ice and come back with period number two. injury is going to keep him out for the rest of the evening. He will not return. I've just been given the note. Thanks for the update, Ray. We'll see what sort of wrench that throws into plans here now. Still tied up as we get underway here at period number two. Quick shot! Denies him with the blocker. What a stop by Chari. Sometimes you're in close. There's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Quick feed to Malkin. Pittsburgh's gained the line and into the zone. Denies him! He got all of it! Picked up along the wall by Shutt. Nice zone entry from the right side. Moves the puck along the half wall. Oh, the blocker was right there to come up king by Curry. Bang, bang, play right in the low slot. The goalie's on top of it. He makes a really astute save here by reading the play well and turning it aside. The Penguins move it ahead. Pittsburgh's got the puck. Moves it to Malkin. Big stop by the goaltender right in front. They're like a swarm of bees out here with this pressure. Grabs a hold of the puck. Here's a shot. Oh, what a save by the Penguins. He's sharp on this one. Out on top of the crease aggressively to make the save. Crowd's buzzing, ready to get things back underway, and I think the officials are too. They take possession as he locks him up off the faceoff. Oh, some strong physicality on the play. And he slides it quickly to Mahovlich. Nasty hit along the wall. Montreal's got the puck in the defensive end. Here they come on the attack. Oh, the pass. Take it along the wall by LaPointe. The Canadians will take it behind the net. Pass broken up. Puck grabbed by Mahovlich. 
Avalanche. Close, but not close enough. Picked up along the boards by LaPointe. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Chari. LaPointe's first game back doesn't show any signs of rust, James. I like the way he skated, and there he gets a shot on goal. Oh, look at that. Here we go. We got a penalty coming up right here. Penalty coming up here. Reaching a little bit, a little bit out of position. That goes together, and he ends up with a tripping penalty. Man advantage takes to the ice. It's our first opportunity to get a glance at the special teams unit. And so they'll get their first power play of the evening. At the very least, you want to make sure you get pucks to the net, win some puck battles so you retrieve the puck. You just do not want on your first power play to have a poor one because that can leak into subsequent power plays as the game goes on. The Canadians take it from their own end as they make a line change. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Recky. The Canadians have it behind the net. You could see that coming. That was such a big collision. They were both on the tracks, and he's down. He looks like he's going to need some help. Quick pass to Richard. Turned that one aside. Wow. Scores! And they capitalize with the power play. And here they have taken the lead. I love watching this team when they get on the power play when they're confident because that puck starts getting zipped around. They can attack low. They can use a point shot. Really hard for the penalty killers to catch up, and they just put it this time. Montreal's defense translates into some offense, and they got the lead. Well, when the game's tied, you can't start taking a bunch of unnecessary chances. They've got the lead now, and we'll see if they can extend it before the break. And the puck leaves the zone. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. And the challenge is accepted. And down he goes, pretty much bringing an end to this one. Yeah, he was in control of this fight the entire way. Ray, it looks like they're not done with each other down there. No, they're going to bark at each other on the way to the penalty box, but into the box they go. Time to sit down. All right, both teams back at the face-off circle after the dust finally settles on that Donnybrook. Crosby's one possession. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. The Canadians have it now. Montreal's playing it from the side. And he regains control of the puck. Oh, absolutely owns the crease tonight. Jones made a desperation stop there. A dangerous chance. Oh, there's going to be a penalty on this play here, James. Moves it quickly over to Elbo. We got a whistle. Penalty coming up. The penalties keep on coming. Here's another one. It's like a turnaround and you're gone for another ice cream, James. Most teams are going to start in this 1-3-1 set. The key, though, is you've got to move once you get possession of the puck. If you move, the penalty killers have to follow. Take advantage of that extra player. Heads to the back of the net. The Penguins gain control of the puck against the wall. Drives to the sweet spot. Grabbed along the board by Bellamo. He scores! Add that power play goal to the other one. They've really done well with the extra man here. There's just not many goals that are scored from not in front of the net. I mean, if you want food, you go to the grocery store. You want money, you go to the bank. You want goal, you get to the front of the net. The Canadians have made their way back to center ice and probably breathing a little easier now as they are up by two. You throw that second one in your back pocket, everybody on the bench feels just a little bit better. Pumps it away in his own end. On the left side, he moves it up ahead. And the play's finally whistled dead by... Look out! Look who's stepping in here. Yeah, he jumped in pretty quick. He doesn't want the other guy fighting, that's for sure. 
That had a whole lot of nasty, and it all seemed to be tilted in one way. Uh, pretty quickly, you could see there was an upper hand to be had in that fight. That's the way it played out. Of course, everybody jumps up when the fight happens, but your guy wins, and the building just keeps moving along. And the crowd's still on their feet here, Ray. Well, it looks like the officials have got all the debris off the ice, and we're back to getting some hockey going again. Crosby's won the face-off deep inside the offensive zone. Denied that one. Positioning's perfect. He gets into the butterfly and makes the save. He scores! What a goal! The Penguins seem to have new life here as they get back to center. Pretty easy to tell from where I'm standing, James. The bench erupted when the goal went in the net. Now they're only down by one. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. The Canadians will play it in their own end. And he takes the dish. Sends it out in front. Scores! What a finish on the play! He's able to work his way into the low slot to take that pass. He doesn't stop it, so the goalie can't catch up to it. Montreal's goal here late in the second has to take a ton of wind out of the sails from their opposition here. I don't see how it could. You're only one down, you feel pretty good about yourself. Now you're down two. It's a pretty tough spot to be. Pittsburgh's won the draw. The Penguins take it along the wall. Can't find his man. And now he tries to get it across to Petrie. Great save from in tight. Smothered that in close camp. Puck picked up by Shot. Aims his own along the right wall. Sandwiched along the boards. That is a perfectly delivered hit. Rammed it straight into the boards. Here's a short pass to Crosby. There's a solid collision. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Malkin. Pittsburgh's on the attack. Montreal's got a hold of the puck now. They're going to go. James, you lay a hit like that on a star, there's going to be somebody that's going to come after you, and that's exactly what's happened here. And scores with the takedown, but those are sometimes dangerous out there, right? Uh, they can be. I mean, honestly, you can land on the side of your head and you've got a real problem. I'd like to see the linesman drop on the ice and give it the one, two, three, you're out. <laughs> Count it out. The Mew's not going to be able to return to the game. Just got word from the PR department. He's out for the night. All right, thanks very much for the update, Mr. Ferraro. And we'll see how things are impacted here with the line juggling going forward. Save me with the pad. He's looking a little rejuvenated. He had that fight earlier. Now he had a five-minute break to rest, but he's back at it. A good shot on goal. Here he is. Takes the shot. Great reflex on display tonight on his part. Bring an end to the second period of play. Let's get a clean sheet of ice and come back with the third period next. Feed. Thunderous collision! 
collision on the plate. And look at the bench set up. Goes right to the yeah. crease. Scores! Let's go back to back goals. They stay aggressive after getting the first one. They tack another one on here. When you get into this position, that puck's got to be off your stick in a hurry. You don't have much time to think about it. The Canadians are on absolute cruise control here in the third. Well, they've built such a large margin, you can use your whole bench and coast it in. And now it's grabbed by Robinson. Pittsburgh's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Robson on the play. Nice feed. Quick feed to Gainey. Moves it to the middle. The passes are hard and flat, the rate on your tape. I played with a couple of them. John Anderson back when I was with Hartford, and then Alexi Kovalev with the Rangers. They could drop it on your tape from anywhere. See if we can pick up some momentum again here as a face-off is ready to go. Crosby's won the draw. Moves it to Malkin. Moves it to the middle. Oh, we'll get some tired defenders as icing is the call. The Canadians win the draw. Important draw for him. The players are tired after the icing. Quick pass to Jeffreyon. Passes out front. And he denies that great opportunity there. Moves it quickly over to Petrie. The Canadians gonna work on offense. Pittsburgh's gonna play the puck from behind the cage. Looks to pass it to Crosby. Slick feed. The Canadians have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Wrist shot from the slot. Oh, denies him with the save! I think he got the blocker on it! That's a really good save. I think the goalie's probably surprised he was dead center and open to shoot that puck. popular players on this team. He leads by example, which means you get it done on the ice. Otherwise, you're just another coach making the speech. It's so cool when a leader scores because the bench is having so much fun. They can't wait to celebrate with the guy that does all the dirty work for their team. Face off here in the neutral zone and we are back underway. Sorry about your toes, James, that I just jumped on. That was a huge hit. There's the whistle, and here's the call. Really hard to win when your penalty killers are on the ice more than anybody else. That's another penalty for them. Pittsburgh sending their power play unit out for the first time tonight. First chance of the night for the power play. The guys are pretty excited to get out there and see if they can get on the board. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. The Canadians have it behind the net. Answers the call big time. What a stop by Chari. No room for the shooter. The goaltender snuffed it out. The Canadians gain possession of the defensive zone. Battle along the wall. Pittsburgh's got it in their own zone. The Penguins are in transition. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. Yager's into the offensive zone now on the attack. Scores! And they put the power in power play. The Penguins still have a lot of catching up to do, but they have something to build on now. Yeah, they do, and I think what they can look forward to is the buzzer is closer to the end of the game. Oh, you went there, huh? The Canadians win the faceoff. Skates to the crease! 
Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. Good read by the winger as the two centers tie up. Here's a short pass to Gonchar. And he takes the pass. That's a solid check on the play. And that's blocked away. Coming to the slot. Now, obviously, there's more than one way to beat a goalie. How about the old stumble, stay with it, don't fall over, and still find a way to beat them? Pretty nice goal. The Canadians could almost put this one in neutral here for the rest of this third period. They've dominated much of this game, and the score is clearly reflective of that. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Quick feed to the point. Unable to reach that one. And he easily stops that one. Jari's fought that puck all night long. He makes a good save there, James, but... It's been a long night for him, and the guys in front of him haven't been much better. Well, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. The frustration is just all over this bench as they take yet another penalty. Kills any momentum they might have. The Penguins send their man advantage unit out once more. They've already scored on the power play tonight. They'll get another chance here. James, I don't think they have to change anything with the way they go about it. The Penguins win the draw. And that's blocked in traffic. Makes it look easy with the stop. There's another stop. Yeah, he's pretty good positioning here, James. He makes the two stops back to back. The Penguins have it against the wall. Takes the feed. The Penguins cross the blue line and are on the attack. Picks off the pass. Puck is cleared out of the defensive zone. Shot. Oh, how did he come up with that stop? Moves it to Coffee. Too much traffic in the lane. Don't penalty looting. Coaches would love to pile a few shifts together like this. They're buzzing on this all over the front of the net. All sorts of pressure here in the offensive end. They are really a And this official is quickly becoming public enemy number one. Every time he blows it, it seems like there's a penalty to be called, and it's on the home team. Huge opportunity for the power play as they'll start with a five on three. Five on three can be a great advantage, but it'll sometimes go south if the offensive players aren't very aggressive getting the puck to the net. Montreal's got the puck along the wall, and that's broken up. Escape the booze tonight. They're all over him after he caused the injury earlier on in that controversial play. The Penguins have it now. Moves the puck. Drills him. A little dipsy doodle, and he loses possession of the puck. Driving right to the front. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Bellamos out of the sin bin and joins the penalty kill here. On the play. Wow, did he ever finish him hard. And when he dropped, he also dropped his stick. Now he's got to collect himself. Looks like a yard sale out there. The Penguins scoop it up along the boards. Read that perfectly with the poke check. Pittsburgh's got it in their own zone. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Shot tipped in front. Played big in the moment there. Slides across in the butterfly to make the save, but you still have to be agile even though you're covering the bottom of the net. Here's a chance. It's in. It goes off the post and into the net. I've always thought they should be able to fix the goal post so every puck that hits the post somehow ends up in the net. Spoken like a true goal scorer. How the heck with the goalies? They got enough equipment on. <laughs> the Penguins have a long way to go still here in the third. I guess you get your scorers out there and you try and keep climbing out of a hole, but... It's not very pretty right now. Puck is dropped and play resumes. Coffee's got it along the wing. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Oh, by being in the right position.
transition, James. He gets so tight to the shooter, there's nowhere for the puck to go. Draw in his own end now. Let's see if they can clear it. 